Hi, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle. And in today's episode, we're gonna talk about this puzzle here, which is a lock puzzle, means it looks like a regular padlock. It's called the Hokey Cokey Lock, and it comes in this very, very nice packaging. <laughs> so, there's a stick coming with it that says, many thanks for buying this lock, Christian, and I hope you enjoy doing the Hokey Cokey. Steve. Very nice detail. I like something. I like this stuff. And um, what is this puzzle about? Well, it's at least named after this famous hokey cokey dance, but I have no information about why. Um, according to this bottle opener or what this is here, um, it's it was used as a entrance for the IPP 38 and it was shared by it's, as an exchange puzzle by Steve Nichols, who I who also sold me this puzzle. Uh, the design is coming from Ellie Morris, and I think manufacturing is done by Ellie and um, Steve together. And as I said, it's a lock puzzle, a padlock, and like it looks completely like a regular padlock. There is nothing different from a regular padlock. Maybe this hole down here but I'm really interested to see how this one can be opened. I asked also Steve maybe to share some information with us about the idea or the manufacturing process or some other details where the name is coming from, but he told me, no, I will not share anything with you to do not give you any clue how to solve it. So today I'm gonna try it, it's my first attempt and I'm really excited about it because I love these mechanical puzzles made from metal and they are my favorite because they just fit somehow my personal problem solving skills, at least I think so, I'm not sure about this one. And if you talk about problem solving, I would like to use the occasion to thank Brilliant.org who sponsored today's episode. Brilliant.org is a problem solving website that teaches you how to think like a mathematician or a scientist. They offer you a huge amount of courses in the field of math, science and computer science. Want to learn something new on your commute or while traveling? Brilliant's new offline courses will allow you to do just that. Download any of their dozens of interactive courses through the mobile app and you'll be able to solve fascinating problems no matter where you are or how spotty your internet connection is. By the way, for my next trip tomorrow I will work on the classical mechanics courses. To support Mr. Puzzle and learn more about Brilliant, go to brilliant.org slash mrpuzzle and sign up for free. And also, the first 200 people that go to that link will get 20% off the annual premium subscription. Always keep in mind, investing time and effort in learning something is investing in yourself. And now, let's get back to the Hokey Cokey Lock Puzzle. I will link you the Etsy shop of Ellie and Steve in the video description. And after the spoiler break, I'm gonna attempt to try solving this Hokey Cokey Puzzle Lock. During the unboxing I already noticed <laughs> that there is nothing to notice because it is completely looking like a regular lock. It comes with this bottle opener. I will just take off the two keys in case we need them separately. And of course, of course, I can tell you 100% of the people trying this lock for the first time will do the same as I will do right now. They will take off the keys. I will keep the ring, maybe I will need this for later. They will take the keys and they will put it in. <laughs> this one doesn't even fit in. Ah, it fits, okay. Snug fit, but of course I cannot rotate it. And I'm wondering how you can actually modify this one to make it a puzzle because it looks like a normal one. Also this key does not work. And there is not much more. There is this little hole down here. Maybe I can use this one to push in here. So let me first look at the details. Is there anything I can do from outside? 
there is nothing on the shackle it's just a regular shackle i think pushing it this would be too easy i think it seems there are some parts moving inside but maybe it can be also the pins in the lock also if i look inside here it looks like a it looks like a regular lock so you can see the first pin maybe this has also something to do with the lock i don't know let's have a look at the keys and then i will yes i will do it i will try to take this one and push inside here this is the only thing that makes sense but let's compare it oh they are different one key is actually looks normal and the other one is somehow filed down back here it seems or it's no it's a completely different one interesting need to keep that in mind for later and now I will just try to use this wire here to push inside here and I hope this is working because this is basically the only idea I have and of course it's not working it's maybe not too smart bend it a little bit but nothing moved at all. I'm pretty much sure there is something like a pin or something inside. Maybe it need to be in only partially. No. Let's try this one. Again, so it upside down. Maybe I need to put in the key together with the ring. So what I can feel in here is that there is a lot of free play in here. It's like a small chamber inside here. Also the shackle has nearly zero free play. Maybe this is also one, so only one hole here for lubrication. Whew. Challenging. Maybe I need to do the hokey cokey dance with the lock in my hand. What is this bottle opener for? Has it maybe also some sense? Oh. Do not damage it. Actually, if this would be on a door, no one would have an idea that this is not a regular lock. <laughs> it's 100% like a regular lock. I think the, the solution must have something to do here with this hole. This is the only thing, the only point where I can approach it. There's some free play here, as you can see, but not on this side. But it does not ha really help me uh, to solve it or to open it. Nevertheless, I will put it under pressure now and try to carefully and I'm not sure if this is on purpose or not but something is moving inside there and if I put in the key I just noticed one step further and it's gone maybe I'd somehow need to place this pin do the hokey cokey and place this pin in a way to be able to rotate it hokey cokey <laughs> Hokey Cokey. To be honest, I have no idea what this song is about. I only watched it in YouTube before I started with this puzzle and it's kind of ridiculous, but why, why is it called Hokey Cokey? There's no movement here. Maybe twist it. Pull it and twist it. I try to twist here the shackle. It's completely solid, I think. No! Oh, look at this! Look at this! I can't believe it! That's the solution, I think. That's it! Oh, is this clever! And it's so obvious! Oh, no, I locked it, I think. Shit. So, can I lock it again? <laughs> Whatever. Have you seen how it worked? These are screwed together here and look how the gap is closed. You can't, actually you can't see this. If it's closed tightly, 
Reminds me a little bit of the lock with the three keys, the first step. Ah, oh, this is ingenious, you see this? Small thread put inside here. The screw actually included here in the brass. Very well made. This is so cool. But now I think I need to close it again. Oh, I'm, I'm blown away by the design. It's such, such a simple trick. Imagine you have this, this lock somewhere in your, I don't know, in your basement and you can place the key right next to it and everyone who will come will be happy to see the key and then he will get crazy opening the lock because the opening mechanism has nothing to do with the key. This is brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So this one was over here. I think this one can be also just put in with some force. Yes. So Steve Ali, congratulations to this idea, to this design. Absolutely great. And I can do this all day long. This is working so smooth and so simple and it's so easy to do. And yet it's so difficult to find. Absolutely brilliant. Again, congratulations to all of you who watched the video. If you're interested to buy this magnificent lock, just check out the Etsy shop of Ali and Steve. I will put you the link in the video description. Get you a copy. It's absolutely worth to buy it. I'm blown away by the design. Thank you very much. And I have to exchange now this, this ring. Okay, I think this is some part I can get and uh, as a replacement. However, nice detail to fool the people. I'm, I'm not sure how many people destroyed this one, same as myself. If you like this episode, just leave a like, comment below. Let me know what you think about this puzzle. Hit the like button if you like this video, hit the like button if you like my channel and also of course you can check out my Facebook and Instagram channel. This was the Hokey Cokey Lock and until next time, keep on puzzling!